What's going on, FA Nation? John Pembe here, and I'm going to bring you my top 12 fantasy football quarterbacks for the upcoming 2024 fantasy football season. We're going to bring you our 12 through 6 list here. Make sure you check out the other video to get my top 5 fantasy football quarterbacks here for the 2024 fantasy football season. Checking in at number 12, we're going to go to Brock Purdy of the San Francisco 49ers. Great offense around him. Christian McCaffrey, Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, and George Kittle. Last year, he put up 4,280 yards, 31 passing touchdowns here. We should see him in line to do much more of the same in an offense that is prone to score. Last year, he finished in the top 10 in fantasy points per game. I'm looking for a similar season here out of Brock Purdy. Number 11 quarterback for me, Tua Tagovailoa. I'm actually pretty bullish on Tua. This is a bit of a conservative ranking for me here. My one drawback is the fact that he has yet to have a 30 or more passing touchdown season. Last year, finishing with 29 touchdowns while leading the league with 4,624 passing yards. He has Tyree Kill. He has a healthy Jalen Waddle. If we see Tua Tagovailoa break into the 32 to 35 passing touchdown range here, he could very easily crack the top seven, eight quarterbacks here in fantasy football. QB 10 for me this year, Dak Prescott of the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, a super strong second half of the season for Dak Prescott, being a top three quarterback after the Cowboys bye week. Targeting CD Lamb heavily obviously helped him out. He finished with 4,516 yards, 69.5% completion percentage, and 36 touchdowns. He cut down on the turnovers there as well, which certainly helped him out. Uh, I'm looking for Prescott here. Maybe a slight regression. Uh, coming in as QB 10 here, I really want to see maybe a second receiver option step up. Brandon Cooks, Jake Ferguson take that next leap here. For me, Dak Prescott, QB 10. QB 9 is going to be Jordan Loves coming off of a breakout season, has a new contract in hand. Last season, 64% completion percentage, throwing for 4,159 yards with 32 touchdowns. Honestly, I'm expecting much more of the same here. They have the same wide receiver group coming back for them, but maybe he could have a bit more success if Christian Watson is able to stay healthy. He was the team's leading receiver last year when on the field, but health has continued to be a problem for Watson over the last couple of seasons. If he's healthy, we could see Jordan Love maybe move up a spot or two come year's end. QB8 for me is a guy that also dealt with some health problems last year. That's Joe Burrow of the Cincinnati Bengals. He's got Jamar Chase. He's got T. Higgins here. They added Mike Kosicki. They added a pass-catching running back in Zach Moss there as well. But I do like Joe Burrow a lot. I got him as QB8, but he can easily rise up the rankings here. Uh, went healthy over the last couple of years. You've seen him 44, 4,500 yards, 35-plus touchdowns. Could very easily see him put up that type of stuff here again and find himself moving up. But I got him as QB8 for me this year. At QB7, everybody's favorite breakout here, CJ Stroud. Yes, he had a great rookie season, completing 63.9% of his passes for 4,108 yards and 23 touchdowns. The team then goes out and trades for Steph on Diggs. I'd honestly expect a little bit more touchdown um, upside here, uh, maybe a couple hundred more yards passing. So he finishes with, 4,300 yards and 28 touchdowns. That's perfectly fine. Finds himself in the back half of my top 12 here coming in at QB7. If he ran the ball a little bit more, we could see him move up. But again, last year, not a big a proponent of running uh, was C.J. Stroud. Get my QB6 here. We got Anthony Richardson. Now, I know a lot of people have him ranked higher on their boards. Uh, he could very well lead the league in rushing at the quarterback position this year. Last season in the two games which he played fully, he scored 21 and nearly 30 fantasy points in those two games. He has Michael Pittman at his disposal. He should have a full season of Jonathan Taylor. Both of those things are great. The only thing holding me back, really, is the uncertainty after Michael Pittman in that offense. It could be Josh Downs. could be a Donnie Mitchell. You know, they, they don't really have a true wide receiver, too, um, that I feel confident in in this offense. It's going to really rely heavily on Richardson's legs, and I know he can score points. I got him as my QB6. Go check out my top five fantasy football quarterbacks right now over on the Fantasy Alarm YouTube and get the Fantasy Football Draft Guide or become an All-Pro member and get that draft guide for free. FantasyAlarm.com slash win. Go All-Pro. Come join the family.